on April 20th, 1999, two students from Colum Columbine High embark in a huge massacre, killing um, 12 students, one teacher, and injuring 23 others. Um, as, a, as tragic as this may sound, this has not been the only school shooting we've heard on the news. Violence is out of control, and guns are a major contributor to this. Um, despite thousands of laws put out there at federal, state, and local levels, <clears throat> um, we have an astounding um, gun-related murders, suicides, and accidents are one of the biggest problems we face in our society. Now, while um, so gun laws obviously do not work. So what I am proposing to all of you is that we ban them completely. By doing so, we will um, prevent many of these incidents from occurring. We will um, reduce our crime and, and um, we will create a safer society for all of us. Now, while we, there are many contributors to why violence is so high, um, I won't go into much detail there. Um, I will say that if there weren't any guns available um, to ordinary citizens, um, most of these incidents would not have even um, been uh, have even occurred um, if they weren't there. Now, uh, what I mean is, in uh, incidents prior to Columbine, these two um, individuals, Eric Harrison and um, Dylan Calbell, um, bought two shotguns and two firearms from a friend. So, how is this even happening? Why, how are they even having um, access to this? So obviously, gun laws are not working. Um, so about concerning the availability, there is a study um, by Harvard University that shows direct um, direct link between gun availability and death among children living in five states. Um, the states that had the, by, the highest gun ownership um, were 16 times more likely um, to die from intentional firearms. That's, that could be, um, you know, um, just a little kid um, sees a weapon, it's not, they don't know it's loaded, and boom, you're dead. Um, seven times more likely to die from suicide, and three times more likely to die from homicide. Those are scary numbers. Um, okay, but if you're still not convinced, let's take an everyday example. Um, I hear that from many people opposed to um, banning guns that, uh, well, you, there's more people that die from car accidents than gun-related. And yes, this may be true. So their question is, well, why not ban um, cars? Well, the reason is vehicles are made as a form of transportation. Um, guns and firearms, on the other hand, are not. If you use a vehicle correctly, um, no one is going to be harmed. If you use a firearm correctly, um, the intent is to kill. Now, um, not here are some uh, from the Bureau of Justice Statistics some number of deaths um, overall, not just children. Um, and the number of deaths in 2001 were 29,573 a year. The breakdown of this is 802 of those were unintentional, um, 16,869 of those were from suicide, 11,673 were from homicide, and um, 231 were undetermined. Okay, now from today we have increased from 29,000 to 
34000 a year. That's, uh, you know, so nothing. We are just keep increasing the things. So it's time that we um, face these facts and we um, all support gu um, banning guns. By supporting guns, we will... Ill <clears throat> we'll, we will prevent all these incidents from happening. Incidents like Columbine, and we will prevent, um, we will um, reduce our crime rate, and, um, and eventually we will live in a safer society. So I encourage all of you to support this cause so that we can live in a safer society. Thank you.